friends, this video on Kinetic Theory Part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from Part 1 to Part 24 before going ahead with Part 25. Calculate the specific heat capacity for diatomic gases. Rigid means that the molecules will have rotational degrees of freedom but they cannot vibrate. They are, that is a rigid oscillator. Rigid oscillator means it can translate, that is the entire molecule can move from one point to another. It can also rotate but it cannot vibrate because vibration is possible only when there is some flexibility. So there should not be any rigidness for vibration to take place. Now in this case we are considering that the diatomic molecule is rigid. So for these molecules there will be three translational degree of freedom plus two rotational degree of freedom. Right? So there will be total five degrees of freedom. So according to the law of equipartition of energy each degree of freedom will contribute 3 by 2 kb into t energy therefore 5 degrees of freedom will contribute 5 by 2 i'm sorry this was 3 1 by 2 so this will be 5 by 2 kb into t therefore the internal energy of 1 mole of gas that is u will be equal to 3 by 2 kb into t into na that is 3 by 2 r into t not 3 by 2 i'm sorry again it is 5 by 2 so this will be 5 by 2 rt therefore what is cv cv is du by dt so this will be 5 by 2 r now, if Cv is equal to 5 by 2R, what is Cp? As I told, Cp minus Cv is equal to R. So, Cp is Cv plus R. So, that will be 7 by 2R. So, what will be the ratio of the specific heat capacities? That is Cp by Cv. So, that will be equal to 7 by 5. So, for a rigid diatomic gas, the ratio of the specific heat capacities is 7 by 5. We just did the same thing, just that the number of degrees of freedom changed here. Now, let us calculate the specific heat capacity for diatomic gases which are non-rigid. So, non-rigid means they will have translational degree of freedom plus rotational degree of freedom as well as vibrational mode. So, in this case, what will be, how many degrees of freedom? 3 translational degree of freedom plus 2 rotational degree of freedom plus vibrational degree of freedom. So, what will be the contribution from each degree of freedom? For 3 rotational degree of freedom, it would be 3 into half kb into t. Similarly, for 2 rotational degree of freedom, it would be 2 into half kb into t. For vibrational degree of freedom, this would be kb into t. So, what would be the total energy? That is 5 by 2 kb into t plus kb into t. That is equal to 7 by 2 kb into t. So, this would be the total internal energy of one mole of gas. So, this would be the total internal energy. Therefore, what is, so this can be written as 7 by 2 RT. So, 7 by 2 RT would be the internal energy for one mole. So, what is Cv? That is specific heat capacity at constant volume. That is du by dt which is equal to 7 by 2. So, what is Cp? Cp is nothing but Cv plus R. So, that is equal to. So, this is 7 by 2 R. So, this will be 7 by 2 R plus R that is equal to 9 by 2 R. 
So what would be the ratio of the specific hits? That is gamma is CP by CV which will be equal to 9 by 7. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.